Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's focus on mapping cardinalities. Let's start the session with the topics of the day. What we are going to learn in this presentation? We are going to understand the mapping cardinalities and all four types of mapping cardinalities. They are one-to-one -one cardinality, one-to-many cardinality, many-to-one -one cardinality and finally many-to-many -many cardinality. At first, we will understand why do we need mapping cardinalities. Mapping cardinality is also known as cardinality ratio. Why do we need this? Because mapping cardinality is used to express the number of entities to which another entity can be associated via relationship set. I mean to say, how many number of entities in one relation can be associated with another entity of another relation. Obviously, when two entities are there, how they are related? We are relationship, isn't it? Let's assume there are two entity sets. How these two entity sets are going to be associated? With the help of the relationship set. This mapping cardinality is used to express the number of entities in one entity set how it is associated with another entity in the another entity set. That is what cardinality is all about. If you still need more clarity, don't worry about this. When we see examples, you will be able to understand. In DBMS, does mapping cardinalities matter? Yes, definitely. In DBMS, it plays an important role. I will explain about this important role of having mapping cardinality when we see the ER diagrams. For now, just understand this is an important area that we should focus on because the relationship and the association is purely depending on the mapping cardinality only. Mapping cardinalities are the most useful things in describing binary relationship sets. What do we mean by binary relationship sets? When we have two entities and a relationship is formed between these two entity sets or two entities, then it is a binary relationship set. Let's see the types of mapping cardinalities now. There are four types of mapping cardinalities. The first one is the one-to-one -one mapping cardinality. The second one is one-to-many. The third one is many-to-one. And the last one is many-to-many. -many. At first, let's focus on one-to-one -one cardinality. I told you in the previous slide that this is most useful when we deal with the binary relationship set. So here I am going to take two entity sets. Entity set A and entity set B. Obviously, entity sets A and entity sets B will have entities. Let's see the entities of entity sets A and B. A has A1, A2, A3 and A4 as the entities. Similarly, entity set B has B1, B2 and B3. We know entity sets are real world entities. If you take this as the student relation, A1 is a student, A2 is another student, A3 is another student, similarly A4. Remember, why we call this as entity set? Because all these entities are of the same type. Only then they form an entity set. One-to-one -one cardinality means an entity in the entity set A. Remember, an entity in entity set A is associated with at most one entity in the other entity set, which is B. What I mean? An entity in entity set A is associated with at most one entity in entity set B. This is called as one to one. And this is from A to B. What about B to A? B to A also the same. An entity in the entity set B is associated with at most one entity in entity set A. Then this is called as one to one cardinality. An example I would easily say. Let's take this entity set A is the department. Entity set B is the head of the department. Obviously, one department is managed by one head of the department. In other words, one department is associated with one manager only. Remember, all these A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3 are entities. It means they are the real world objects. Let's take entity set A as the department. Let's say this is finance. Finance is managed by Tom or Tom is managing finance. That's it. One manager, one department, or one department, one head of the department. This is called as one-to-one -one mapping cardinality. P 
Please remember, in the diagram, I am not showing the relationship or the relationship set just to keep things simple. Anyway, when we see ER diagrams, I will be showing the relationships as well, along with the mapping cardinality. Let's come to the second type, the one-to-many mapping cardinality. In one-to-many mapping cardinality, of course, we are going to take two entity sets, entity set A and entity set B. Obviously, these entity sets will be having the entities of the same type. Here we have A1, A2, A3. Here we have B1, B2, B3, B4 and B5. Now, let's see how one-to-many is actually going to work. Let's take an entity in entity set A is actually associated with any number of entities in entity set B. This is what is called as one to many. Can you see here one entity in this entity set is mapped or associated with multiple entities in the other entity set. This is called as one to many. At the same time, an entity in the entity set B can be associated at most one in entity set A. Can you see here? This is very important. This can have multiple mapping. But each of this will have only one mapping. Can you see here? B1 has only one line. B2 has one line. B3 has one line. B4 has one line. And B5 also has one line. However, when you see this side, A1 has two lines. It is going to B1 and B2. If you want, I can give you one real world example. Let's assume entity set A is the department. And let's assume entity set B as the faculty members. So one department will have multiple faculty members. Can you see here, A1 is the department that contains multiple faculty members. But each faculty member will be belonging to one department, isn't it? So this is what one-to-many mapping. We are done with the second type of mapping cardinality. Let's move on to the third type, which is many-to-one mapping cardinality. Again, we are taking the same two entity sets A and B, but with the difference in the entities. Let's say, a1 to A5 are the entities in the entity set A. B1 to B3 are there in B. What is many to one? It means an entity in entity set A can be associated with at most one entity in the entity set B. I mean the entity in entity set A is associated with at most one entity in entity set B. This is what many to one. However, an entity in the entity set B can be associated with any number of entities in entity set A. This is what many to one mapping cardinality. No worries, I will give you an example. Just reverse the example what we have seen in two. That is one to many. In one to many, we have seen department and faculty members. Now you take this as the faculty members and this as the department. It means many faculties can work for single department, isn't it? If you take computer science as the department, let's assume B1 is computer science. A1, A2 are the faculties working for B1 department, which is computer science. This is exactly many to one. Finally, we are moving to many to many entity set. We have the same two entity sets A and B. Now let's see how it is associated. An entity in entity set A can be associated with any number of entities in entity set B. This is what we call as many to many. Can you see here? An entity in entity set A can be associated with many entities on the other entity set. Similarly, an entity in the entity set B, I mean this B entity set, can be associated to any number of entity sets in A. This is what many to many. Let me give you an example. Let's assume this entity set A is employees. Let's assume B entity set is projects. Many employees can work on multiple projects. Multiple projects can be maintained by multiple employees. Let's say the employee A1 is working on project B1 and project B2. Same time, B1 project can be managed by A1 as well as A2. This is what exactly many to many. And this has an important role in DBMS, which I will explain you when we see ER diagrams. Please note, in the explanation, when I say any number of association from A to B or B to A, it means it can be zero or more. When I say A is associated with B with any number, it means it can be zero also or more also. And that's it, guys. 
what we have learnt in this presentation, the mapping cardinalities and all four types of mapping cardinalities, one to one, one to many, many to one and many to many. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.